Jake, you've become a bit of a folk hero uh, here. The story kind of broke out after Berkeley. You know, you live in the Bay Area. Um, let me really quickly set this up for people who haven't seen it. Jake Shields was there when the Berkeley protest, well, protest, riot broke out after Milo, and uh, they were beating on some poor innocent sap, and Jake stepped in. Uh, let's roll the clip. <laughs> I didn't do it. You guys got your face covers attacking people? You're being f***ing bastards. Look at you guys. You're damn right, you. You guys are fucking up in your dictionary. Tell what you hate. I'm not that guy. I'm not gonna let 20 people jump a guy. I'll get my ass to live if I have to, man. It's not okay. There's a f***ing Nazi thing at the f***ing university. That's why everybody's here. So why do you have to wear a mask? What Nazi thing? Who's a Nazi? The Jew guy that was speaking? The gay Jew? He's Greek. And it's just <laughs> so Greek makes it. He's not Jewish. He's Greek. Therefore, so we can beat him. Yes. So, um, okay. Tell us what happened. Did you actually? Some reports said you just started throwing punches because to get them off the guy. What did you see, yeah. and how did this come about? Yeah, they were just you know there was there was a big protest like some I guess riot going on. You see, it was chaotic. I was kind of a. Uh, I was kind of watching from the back because my girlfriend didn't want her to go, you know, get yeah. beat up because you know how these people are. And all of a sudden, I see some guy just uh, running off, getting chased by like, mobs of people with bats and sticks, masks, chasing them down, beating them. Uh, you only see a few people in the thing. There was, there was like hundreds of them there. Yeah. I mean, and then they're just like, chasing guys down. Everyone's cheering them on, being like, get the Nazi. Clearly, you know, I know these guys probably not really Nazi. I know these people on the left have just gone insane where they attack anyone that's a Trump supporter. So I run in there and start biting people off, you know, throw a couple punches, uh, pushing people back. I mean, luckily, they're, uh, luckily it wasn't the toughest guys with sticks. Basically, yeah, well, there uh, could have been Jeff Munson, in which case he'd have problems. <laughs> yeah, then, then, then I would have gotten beat up. But luckily, these guys are like, uh, think of the most hipster neighborhood you can imagine. And yeah. These guys are like their faces covered and like little skinny jeans and running around like the little bats. They'll run in, like throw a hit and then jump back. I felt like scared when you throw. Are you so. sure you were not in a real life uh, rendition of Double Dragon? Because that's what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 was, it was ridiculous. I mean, I mean, obviously there was way too many of them. They eventually would take me down. So that's why I tried defusing the situation, you know, right. threw a couple punches, push, pushed a couple of them back, got hit a few times, helped throw the guy in a store. And then just, uh, you know, that was, the, that was, that was a little bit of the aftermath of me trying to like, after I walked out of the store, you know, being like, what the f is wrong with these guys? Yeah. Well, I mean, it really was a scene. I mean, let me, let me ask you this in your estimation, was this just some small contingency because people were saying it was a small group of protest. The protest was largely peaceful and these were disruptors. You were there on the ground. No, didn't look absolutely like that. not. Absolutely not. There was hundreds of them in mass attacking and the, the rest of them were cheering them on. Like it was a good thing. Like it was just uh, it was, it was a witch hunt out there. It was not a peaceful protest. It was a, you know, the peaceful protesters were breaking it on. It, it was a disgrace. And the reports were largely peaceful. So you would say here it was not. This was absolutely not. No, I mean, I, I wanted to go back in and try to help people. But my girlfriend was with me and she's uh, she went in like I was trying to get her to go to the car and wait. because I knew she would start mouthing off and get beat. I don't think she realized these people would have no problem beating her up. Yes. Yeah. You know, later in videos, we saw what happened. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's just terrible. I feel guilty. They couldn't go back in there and try to help. You know, I've seen girls like posting on Twitter. You know, they just got out of the hospital with broken ribs and, and husband's still in the hospital. And it's uh, yeah. It was a disgraceful situation. And I, since I, my girlfriend would leave, I tried getting the Berkeley police to come back in with me, and they just they refused to. Yeah. I, I, what, did, any reason as to why they did? They They're just like, oh, too much is going on. Just do I tell me, just, just don't worry about it. Just go home and be safe. I'm like, how, how am I not going to worry about it? There's people in there just getting beat up for no other reasons than their, uh, than their political views. Yeah. I'm hoping we get a, we get a pushback from this. And mm -hmm. I think from my, uh, my fellow, my liberal friends, I think they need to push back against this. And so, some of them are. They need to be like, this is not okay. This is not what our values represent. This is not who we are. Stop doing this. And I'm seeing mixed, like my Facebook. Some guys are saying this is wrong. Other people are like trying to justify the violence, being like, well, Milo was going to do this. He was going to say that, running all these like fake stories. And it's just, uh, you know, fellow liberals and moderates need to push back against these people and let them know what they're doing is disgusting. And the fact that no one jumped in to help and those things, that, that really bothered me, including the police. I think the mayor had to told him to stand down. I don't like to, I'm a big fan of police. I don't like to go after individual officers, officers but no one would go in there with me. And it's, uh, that was shameful. Yeah, it, it really is. Well, uh, Jake, uh, we're glad that you're getting some uh, some heat for this, some good some good spotlight attention. And uh, jakeshields.com and on Twitter, at Jake Shields, AJJ people, go and show them you love them. And um, hopefully next time we see you, we can actually see the punches. That's what I want to see. Yes. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran entering that promo code, it's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.